Welcome to Hacking Self Storage. So today what we do is we go through the Clough Road figures in numbers. And I'm delighted to say on the store interface, there's four KPIs. There's gross revenue, MRR, occupancy, and rate per square foot. Three of the four are in green. Bosh! That means it's going up. Boom! Uh, ah, love it. Okay, so let's get cracking then. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the... Uh, come off it. First thing I want to talk to you about when I find it is the amount of views we've had. So last week we had 245 views to our website and we had um, we had seven reservations at Clough Road and we had nine at Willoughby. Let's just check the figures if it is seven at Clough Road uh, as I'm trying to find them. I can't believe we haven't got the sheet open. We have some, I'm sure we have. That's not it. And so by the way, right, let's say, let's say these figures are correct. I'm opening it now. Oh, here we are. Yeah, we did have seven at Clough Road. Right, that means 16 reservations in total. That's 16 reservations. That's a conversion rate of people visiting the website to reserving is 6.5%. My friends, that is incredible. I was talking to Gavin Shields about this last week. Um, the big companies do between 1% and 1.5%. Storer, um, they, they, they see a little bit more. They see an uptake. I can't give away any figures just in case it's... it's it, I haven't asked Gavin's permission, so maybe I can, maybe I can't, but it's it's basically a lot less than what we're achieving. 6.5%, it's less than 50%. Is it less than 50%? Uh, ju just about 50% of what we're achieving. So two things. Number one, are my figures correct? Are their views correct? Because we get this information from a third party company who just do it automatically every single week for us. So one, have we got them figures correct? Because if we have, we are absolutely nailing it. And there's only two ways we can be nailing it. One, the website is amazing and it, it, it tells the customers everything they want to see, or our sales process is amazing. One of those two, or you could, you could, you could stretch out and say, well, you're getting warm leads, et cetera, because of the position of your of your, of your facility. So therefore the warm, warmer leads, et cetera, warmer lead, leads, et cetera, because they are seeing your brands in the local area and therefore they're clicking on your website and therefore because they're local, they're more likely to convert. So there is an element of that, but ultimately we are performing incredibly well if these are correct. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, interesting, the quote form. So 73 people went on our quote form and only 31 people actually did the, did the information, went, went through the quote process to get an actual quote. So more than half people of people clicked off it on the Willoughby. Exactly the same for, um, that was on Willoughby, sorry, on Clough Road, exactly the same. 58 people went on the quote form and only 26 people filled it out. So again, barrier to entry. Are we going, are we going to go full on Gavin Shields and not display prices? And sorry, and display prices and make sure all them 58 people get to see the prices rather than only 26 people, because only 26 people went through the quote process. Uh, Willoughby, only 31 people out of 73 went through the quote process. So if we showed the prices, all 73 people would see the price instead of just 31 at, Will at, Cl at Willoughby, and 58 people would see the price instead of just 26 at Clough Road. So are we going to change it and really test it, do a Gavin Shields approach? Um, do you know what? It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what Gavin thinks. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's the data. Let the data drive you. So we're probably going to test it for a number of months and then let the data tell us. I don't think it's going to work. I can't see it working. In America, I think we're mental, not showing prices. But it's because in America, it's it's a more mature industry. In England, people are comparing five-star locations to one star locations in terms of hotels it's not going to be the same you are going to get cheaper prices than me in Hull a lot cheaper everybody's cheaper than me why because we're a superior we spent more money on the shop fit we spent more money on the interface and the structure on everything we spent more money on the capital expenses we've better, got better containers when we've got containers we've got better indoor storage we've got we've got no key for heaven's sake for heaven's sake and so when you're comparing like for like it, it's it's very, very tough for the customer because you're asking the customer to be aware of, of what they offer and what you offer. In America, people understand storage more because most people have used self-storage previously and so know what's a good storage and what's a bad storage. In England and the UK, they have no idea what to expect. So that's the, that's the problem we're up against. That's that's where we got a butt against the wall at the minute with, with showing prices. But we can but test. We can but test, 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 test. If we test when we get the data, we, we, we then we know. Um, it's probably, probably, it will happen, but it's probably 
good to test this once every two years. If it doesn't work this year, then we maybe t- we maybe bench it until 2024 and we test it again. Because ultimately, I want to show my prices online because it's better for me. It's less staffing costs. The staff can focus on the customers rather than it means that I don't have to employ another two or three people when we expand. The, the staff, the current, the current team can focus on on the marketing we can focus on the internal we can make sure it's as clean as possible we can do little bits and bobs we can make customers cups of tea we can focus on our current customers rather than focus on external customers that we haven't yet got so obviously for me i do have a dog in the race i want i want to be able to show prices online and it'd be so much easier and so i want i want that to to be the successful one but the, the successful outcome showing prices i'm not showing out prices but we've got to let the data tell us the story. We can't just, just because we want it to be true, it doesn't mean, mean it's so. So that's why we've got to be so careful. Um, so we're going to test it and see what happens. Um, right, let's have a look at these numbers. Again, I've lost a number. I've got some damn tabs open. Here we go. All right, get rid of that one. Right, last week, as you know, we got 23 quotes. One second. It's saying we got 26 completed um, quote forms, but three of them must have already submitted their details so we got 23 quotes new quotes seven reservations we're gonna take a swig of tea that's a conversion rate of 30 percent. so seven reservations from 23 quotes pretty goddamn good you need to get them quotes up though because it's only 23 in one week want to be around about 28 um so the square foot reserved was 675 amount of movings where six and that was for 500 square foot the conversion rate for movings to to quotes was 26%. So again, above that 25% in that terms, we're happy there. Um, Number of rooms moved out was five for 225 square foot. We also, by the way, had one additional moving, which was 100 square foot. So it means that we was up this week for 275 square foot. Yes. So we was down at Willoughby, but up for the second week running at Clough Row. So 350 square foot up in the last two weeks. That is beautiful. Love it. Right. Where did our quotes come from? Let's have a little gander. It's got a little bit of information here. Uh, for Clough Road, I've got information all over the place because Stora doesn't do all the reports we need. So then we have to import it from other places. And so, yeah, right. Here we go. Google was 16 quotes came from Google at 69.57%. Signs were four, that is 17%. Social media was one, that's 4%. And word of mouth was two, that is 8.7%. All right, let's have a look at some other information. Let's get the Stora interface up for you guys. Where are you? There you are, Stora. Here we go, the dashboard. Right, so the gross revenue, the gross revenue at the minute is £6,604.66. pence. It is up 5.43% from last, this time last month, which is £6,245.88. pence. So we're around about 400 quid up, say, which is good. At least we're up. The MRR is £21,702.94, pence, which is up 3.42%. The occupancy, we're getting there, 54.43%. So it was up... It's up 1.67%, and they rate per square foot. I said this would go down. It's £18.72 at the minute. So it's gone down 5%. It was £19.67 this time last month. Okay, guys, hopefully you've seen an insight into my figures. I'm going to go. I've got some awesome figures figures and podcasts coming out tomorrow. We're going to do monthly figures. Then we've got quarterly figures coming up as well. We've got whole shitloads of figures coming up for you guys. I love this time of the quarter because I can analyze and analyze and analyze until my heart's content. All right, love you. I appreciate you. Bye.